Hello, this is Matthew Jensen here with Tamaya Newborn and Jingzhong Ren. And we are Team Wolfgold, and we are here to present our app, Work It. Hello, this is Tamaya Newborn. Work It is a convenient, easy to use app. Not everyone knows where to begin with working out. Not everyone is consistent enough with their fitness journeys. Many people want to start getting into fitness, but have no idea where to start or many people even plan a whole workout routine to begin their fitness journey and never stay consistent with what they had originally planned. And Work It is a great app to help people just like that out. You can click on what category of workouts you would like to do, choose different exercises that fit whatever workout routine you are doing that day, and begin working out with your newly created personal workout. Now, as you add workouts, Work It will hold you accountable to make sure you finish them. You will be able to check your progress to make sure you are meeting your personal workout goals. Work It is geared towards new people entering the fitness world and gives them an app that does all the work for them. Thank you. Uh, hello, this is Rin, Xin Chong Rin. I'm trying to show the uh, technology part. And uh, this product is written with Android Studio and used the BMO database to store information uh, and now you could see in our code, we have we have splash page, a registration page, login page, main home page, uh, equipment page, and the personal information page. In the splash page, we use the time method to set the time it, it displays in five seconds. In the login and registration page, we have we connect the information entered by the user with database and at the same time it also set up promotes for empty inputs and wrong inputs with method tools to make tasks to achieve that first of all uh, the in the home page uh, which has a bottom net navigation bar to allow user to switch in the in the home page and personal fitness progress progress page we used an adapter page to integrate two or more page in structure, recycle well, swipe, re swipe refresh layout and the database and combine with each other to refresh and to get the exact data. At the same time, we also set up a loading buffer function when the data is not load, loaded normally or is, is uh, or screw down to the bottom, it will be used to load the data again. In the personal user page, you could call the array list of database to delete personal account information and delete the fitness information of individual users. This is roughly what we have done. Unfortunately, we, we didn't have enough time to implement the Fitbit function. Thank you. All right, and this is Matthew Jensen, and I will be doing a demo of our app here, just bringing up back into the focus of the screen here. We're going to start up our app real quick, and you will see at first glance our splash page welcome you to the Work It app. And from the start, you're a new user, so we're going to need to sign up. We are Greg. Greg is just starting his fitness journey. We download this app. He is going to have a greg at gmail.com. This is going to be his username. And uh, his password is just going to be password. He's not very technologically savvy. He's going to have a very, very simple password. We can see down here that our account has been created successfully. Now, if we do Greg, at gmail.com and put in our password once again. We will sign in successfully here. But Greg suddenly realizes he's made a mistake when, he's, when he was setting his account. Uh, he actually didn't want to use that very, very weak password at all. He wanted to use a much better password, like capital password one, two, three, four. That's much better. So now we can see that password has been changed successfully. And now if we come back here to our initial 
login page and we use our new password. It will log us in successfully once again. So now Greg is going to start by checking out our different exercises. We're going to come up to this one. We can see we have a small list of the available exercises for the user. Greg likes high knees, so he's going to try and knees up. He's going to add that to a workout. So bring us to your custom workout page. From here, we're going to add a select few exercises. Let's say knees up, legs lower, jumping rope, and burpees. It's going to be called my workout, and we're going to create our personal workout here. Now we have a list of our workouts. We just have the one, so we're going to check it out. And here, we're going to be able to start entering in the workouts that we have done. So for a jumping rope, let's say uh, it was 10 minutes. For sets, we did uh, let's say three sets, 10 reps. Uh, weight is zero because we didn't have any, you know, those jump ropes are pretty light. So we're going to hit OK, bring down our keyboard. And now we can see our goal completed at the bottom here has been updated. We've completed quarter of our workout, 25%. But now Greg has decided he doesn't want jump rope anymore. Jump rope really sucked. He doesn't want that to be a part of the workout anymore. So he's going to come back here to our main account page. He's going to go to edit his workouts here. Go to his workout. And here we see our list of uh, exercises in our workout here. He's going to remove jumping rope. And now, if we return, we start a workout and we pick our original My Workout here. You can see it is gone and our goal complete has updated as well to reflect this. Now Greg decides he, he doesn't really like any of these exercises. He's going to start over. He's, he just wants to get rid of this workout completely. So he's going to go back to edit delete workout. And then he is going to remove all of his exercises here. Now, if we go to back to start workout, there's nothing here anymore. It is completely gone. There are no workouts whatsoever. But now he needs a new workout to populate it. So instead of going through the categories, he's going to go back to that top button there. And he's going to go directly to the new workout screen. And he's going to add uh, some barbells, some burpees, and uh, some abdominal machine. And we'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll just do all this stuff that we have at the gym here. We're just going to call this gym workout. Now we're going to create the workout. And now here we see gym workout has appeared. And it is now part of his list of workouts. And now Greg can start exercising knowing with confidence that he has a very simple, easy way to track his, track his exercises and add new ones as well. Thank you very much for listening to our demo presentation for the Work It app.